So it's time for campaign number seven. Um, for this first video, um, tell me in the comments if the audio quality has improved or even if it hasn't improved. I've been messing with the equalizer settings for a bit. I'll take the one with the least bonus money again. Okay, so what mistakes did I do the last time? Yeah, I think I simply ran out of money and made some other mistakes too. So I want to have two crocodiles. Oh wait, I have to switch to hard again. Two crocodiles, an owl. I'm going to put an alien system onto it if I get the chance during the campaign. What else do I need? A cheap aircraft carrier <clears throat> and the honey badgers. I need Badger M, <clears throat> and I need two small ones. Okay, so what really eats my eats the money is uh, I'm using too much fuel, and I had two missiles bug out the last time. I hope it won't happen again. Okay, I simply need to be more careful with the money, and as players told me in the comments, I should pay more attention to actually getting the Tarkans, and not mess up the conversations like I do usually. Okay, and I need a lot of fuel. A bit less than that. A lot of aircraft bombs. Missiles are too expensive. Okay, now what we want to do is I want to, like I did last time, I want to lighten the load on the Sevastopol. I'm going to take away from the from the bottom armor. Now it's risky because if I get hit from below, I will run into problems. However, the purpose here is to increase fuel efficiency so it drags less fuel around. Because if I end up in combat with that thing anyway, I'm having problems anyway. And the way I fight it, the most incoming fire is coming from the top and coming from the side. Actually thinking of removing the squall gun and just replacing it with a lot of 57 millimeters and other guns. So it's more like an anti-aircraft platform. Could do that right now, hoping that I get replacement for that thing without, um, before I'm running into serious combat with it. It's risky, it's stupid, but it might work out. Don't need the nukes right now. Yeah, this looks good enough, I think. Selling so those, selling the squall. I'll get some spare money for other things. Okay, now I'm getting more fuel. <clears throat> Take some hundred millimeter scenarios. The problem is with, with special ammo, I don't like to use it because if it's really expensive and I miss one salvo in the chaos of combat, I'm just um, shooting away money. So we don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay, now refuel. Northeast of us, that's probably here. Might also be here. Now what I want to do is I want to get positions on enemy um, strike groups. And then I'm going to send my crocodiles and my owl really far out and position them in areas where I can hit them before they're even aware of me. And I need to be economic with my missiles. So for example, if I... The problem with regular strike groups, if I attack them with a plane, <clears throat> They have really good anti-aircraft, so I'm going to lose the first two planes in the group. I'm going to get lost just to the anti-aircraft fire. If it's enemy aircraft carriers, they usually have planes screening the, the aircraft carriers, so I would need to avoid that too. So the best use for missiles in terms of not getting any counter is the regular anti-aircraft groups and the missile groups. Okay, let's see. How slow it goes because of all the fuel it's pumping. 
Yeah, I know. Okay, now we move. The whole fleet is going to move up here. And the smaller ships are going to attack this and this. Let's see if I do that. I can lower the speed. I'm not sure if it actually increases fuel efficiency if you use that. You can see here. It flies slower. I'm not sure if it uses up less fuel. Possibly, I'm not sure. Okay, now we send a small badger in this direction. Another small badger up here. Now they should be they should be fast enough to not get spotted. And I'm gonna send in their big brother, the M badger, if it gets really hairy. But he gets spotted, he's too slow. Okay, not going to use special ammo, you just need to be careful. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. That is an inherent design problem with my ships. I got the best armor to the bottom. And the problem with that is, as you can see, if I have to get low to actually hit them, But in this case, I'm not really below on my arm, I'm on sideways. <laughs> I got saved by my own stupidity in here, I think. So as I mentioned, uh, my problem is I have to get really low if the enemy is still on the ground, which exposes my best armor piece. I just got really lucky on this thing. That was my dumbest play I think that's, that's even more stupid than the one time when my Sevastopol got hit by a falling debris at the end of the campaign. Yeah, it looks so messed up, they probably confuse it for a wreck on the ground. Yeah, same problem here. I'm shooting those today early in the combat because if if, um, <clears throat> if they get shot uh, shot at, they, I'm going to lose them anyway. So, how did I miss all shots on that? Oh, that felt good, like a direct hit and they explode like that. No, 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 no. So he had armor-piercing ammo, however, it wasn't good enough to get barely through the cage and the armor. So it depends also on the caliber, how far it penetrates, it appears. I got really lucky in this one. It would have been really stupid if I lost my honey badger literally to the almost the first shot fired at it. I mean, look, look how it looks over here. Crew zero. Oh, well, I think. <laughs> to get some crew to man that thing. Okay, so we are going here. You stay over there for a moment. Okay, let's not screw up this uh, thing. Okay, he's, he's a believer, so that's easy. I know this guy. Also, to the guy who told me in the comments, um, the Romani are supposed to be the Russians or something, he told me. Because I, I still don't know who the Romani and who the airlines are. I'm not sure. Is it player crew Romani or those Tarkan? I, I usually skip over the law on this one. Okay, he likes the pot. Okay. Get a free ship, I still got money. 
the main group is going to come in perhaps to reinforce the crew. I'm not sure the dynamics work on this one. Getting some of those. Yeah, that almost went completely to hell. This part is still functioning and this is completely detached from it. Yeah, this one's going to stay in the dock for some time. Here we got this. Something to fine tune here. I'm just going to remove the armor for fuel efficiency because if the thing gets hit by missile, it's coming in from here, so the armor is really necessary. I'm not going to use it in combat. I'm not going to hire ships right now because I might need the money. Somebody told me in the comments the Skylark is really good for picking up stray things. So I might use one of those. Should I get it? I'll keep it. Screw it. So. Fuel tanks are full. Give me some extra bombs. Yeah, it can stay 14 hours, that's good enough. Okay, there's a strike group. So the good thing is, I know he's parked and is going nowhere, I think. Oh, and we got a tactical group over here. Aircraft carrier. Oh, that's really interesting already. Those are prime targets for the crocodiles and the owl. So we are going to move here. Let's see if they can actually... Yeah, I'm going to shoot one or three of them see how they react to it. Oh, that felt good. Okay, now my first impulse would be to fire many more of those because I got six and I got five in total left. I could ruin that strike group with all of those. However, <clears throat> I might need those missiles for more dangerous things. For example, a static group like this is more dangerous to me right now because I cannot approach it without losses unless I um, shoot it with missiles. If I, sh if I send planes, I'm going to lose two or three to the, uh, to the defensive screen that I have. I'm just going to leave it at that. They took one hit, one ship is gone. And now those guys, let's see if we can take out the aircraft carrier. Come on, hit the carrier, hit the carrier. Oh, he's not aiming for the carrier. Oh, this feels good. <laughs> okay, one more. I hope they're not take I hope they're not taking off. I need that carrier dead. Okay, he's going for the carrier. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I gotta fire it because I need that carrier dead. If I get the carrier out of the group, the rest is just a bunch of ships. They're not really that dangerous to me. Ah, oh, come on. So I expanded five of those. It was worth it, I took out the aircraft carrier, but I need to keep in mind to rearm with more missiles. And I leave those alone for the moment. Okay, got the Skylark for extra fuel. Fill up the Skylark a bit. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, the rest is, in, is I think, in order as it should be. Okay, when those guys have refueled. Yeah, rare module, you know, ship repairs, allies. I need the rare modules one. Oh, they're right here. So I guess we're going to move over here when we repair. Then when we're done here, I also could send the Skylark up here so it can help them with the full fuel complement. Yeah, wait for repairs first. Send the Skylark and the big honey badger up here. So Master Paul is going to go here with the with the smaller one when it's done. Yeah, thanks to the guy who mentioned it to me to get a Skylark. It's like a really good taxi for helping smaller ships get around. That's the problem I had in the last playthrough. Um, my honey badgers would get stranded almost. And I had to attach extra fuel tanks on the fly to give them extra range. Okay, what are you guys doing? Are you guys done? Okay, you move here. Those should get some fuel and get up here. Let's move up here and wait. Yeah, he's not really in fighting shape. I would risk him in combat if, if I send him right now. Send it to the Rastapol for direct combat, or I can send in a wasp and just drop a few bombs before I send it to the Rastapol. So they will get spotted, the strike group will start moving, and then I can do something with it. But I need the real module, so yeah, I'm going to send in some planes first. Just to soften them up a bit. Now I won't get any loot, I think. Well, um, the the path is free to get to get to the place. Warning. Radar oh, interesting. See, now he starts moving because he detected something. Interesting. But it's interesting. The the alarm raised. They know something's happening down here, but they haven't seen my strike group. They just saw the planes coming. So this guy, if they move along the path lines, they should move in this direction. So if I go here, by the time this guy's here, I repair a bit, he's over here. But by that moment, I could basically spot him. He has an island. So if I track him here, recon plane gets him, and I hit him with the aircraft. So yeah, that's the plan here. Do we have island? Yeah, this one is island. 